the short one, fellas. Um, uh, we're heading towards the 16th of May, so two weeks into May, basically, you know, 32 day month, basically. And um, the nights have been getting consistently cold. Wind's coming off the Antarctic for about six weeks now. First two weeks of April. Yeah, and then onwards it, it really set in. We've had some rain, some decent rain, and I really these are on the John Wayne, but I really do like the way they colour up and get that nectar on them at this time of year. So really, really, really good ones to hybridise. I would say these Ruber ones are ones to hybridise. You get them all into the perps and into the Lukes. Uh, I've noticed this one here though. Is that the original? Um, it's an odd one. It, it, is that the original? Um, ah, the one, the original book, book one, not book two. I did the photographs in the second book, but the uh, on the front cover of the first book. Um, ah, oh, I've forgotten the name now. Uh, Gordon Cheers, yeah. Is this the one that's on the front cover, Gordon Cheers one? I was looking at all through the season, I thought, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm sure I recognise that. So, um, a very dark red top and white and everything. And, uh, yeah, so, um, but they're starting to... Uh, you know, met the big, big rhizomes in here and in stuff, and uh, down in here, sort of thing. And, and some of the leaves are dying right off, and you know, so uh, yeah, you can see the colour in there, sort of thing. So if I can get in here, that is getting so you know, and of course the fly traps are well, I don't know, it's still chugging out, you know. Centimeter and a half size traps, sort of thing, slowly, but it's settling down for the usual dormancy, sort of thing. So uh, it's touch and go whether you want to water them or not. So uh, whether the casuarina will go red again through, you know, as we head towards August, I don't know. It was rather interesting to come back from WA to find that the casuarina was totally red. That might be an indicator of how things work. So, you know, this thing here, the casuarina, if you don't know, if you're an overseas person, uh, a she-oak, uh, spelled S-H-E-O-K, if, if you're unfamiliar with the word. Yeah, it's not spelled oak, as in European oak, it's spelled OK, yeah. <laughs> She's OK, mate, she's a she-oak. Um, yeah, it's the light, um, uh, uh, they're different, they're different, some have male and female on the same plant, you know, and, and some don't. And um, but compared to the Gravelia robusta, which is a um, a plant that grows to a uh, tree size in a um, seven, about seven years on swampy ground. So there's obviously something a bit like a polonia in a way. It can grow as fast as a polonia. So a Gravelia robusta can grow as fast as a polonia on wet swampy ground. Just thought you might want to know that. Okay, over and out. I think we're getting to the end here. Okay, see ya.